guys in this video we will be learning how we can remove rows or columns from pandas data frame we will be using data frame drop method right i'm using editor pycharm and python version 3.12 is installed on my computer before getting started with any of the implementation you have to install pandas library on your computer if you have not yet installed it you have to open your command prompt or open the terminal from pycharm editor and type one command that is pip install pandas once you execute this command pandas library will be installed on your computer then you can use pandas library into python code right with this tutorial we will be using numpy also now let's get started with our tutorial so what is data frame data frame is nothing but it's a structured data in form of rows and columns if we take an example of excel sheet so this is a correct example of data frame okay here the agenda is to drop columns and rows from data frame object we have seen how we can load a data frame right how we can load a csv file into the data frame how we can select how we can add right so we will be creating a sample data frame with the help of numpy library right okay and then we will be removing some rows okay so now let's import first both libraries pandas as pd and then numpy also right however you can load a csv file into data frame easily but i wanted to show you with help of numpy library how we can create a data frame into pandas right so i am taking np the alias of numpy and then we can create a data frame okay pandas library dot data frame here we have to create two dimensional array right here we can use arrange we are arranging few element right i'm taking 12 elements right and then i wanted to reshape it right in form of rows and columns so reshaping into three into four right so that would be three rows and four columns okay and here what i want i wanted to specify columns also right my columns as well so that would be column one column two if you want to print the data frame it will show you the output in form of rows and columns right you see the column one column two column three and column four right so we are able to generate 12 elements into form of rows and columns okay so this is a default columns that is generated by a data frame right for indexing to identify each row these are our data which we have generated from here with the help of numpy library right if you want to check the type of the df right this object so you will get this is a type of data frame okay you see it's a type of data frame now let's remove some columns from this data frame to remove columns we have to use data frame dot drop and we have to pass on our columns right i'm going to remove column two and column three right so if you print the object which drop function will return so that will return you the copy of your data frame okay so if you run the program yeah so we have to pass on axis also right if axis is one which means it would be a column removal if it is zero it means this will be a rows removal right so depending upon the axis values so it will decide whether a row is deleted or column is deleted okay so let's run the program again so you will get your two columns which are removed column two and column three right so those columns are removed from this output right and drop function is returning the output okay if you see the documentation of drop function so it will show you the axis why so axis is you can see three parameters right we have used columns that is one we will be using rows okay and uh, one more parameter you will say in place that is false so we'll be using in place boolean default false if false return a copy otherwise do operation right so if we use right false so it will give you the copy of your output of your data frame right after performing the operation if you make it true so it will just do the operation right it will not return you anything it will return just none okay 
which means nothing if you want to check now your data frame so your data frame would be updated right if you're in the program so you will get your data frame would be updated you see the two columns are removed so this is the meaning of in place true on the similar line if you want to remove your rows with indexes so those can be removed right let's say i want to remove rows from data frame drop and then i'll be passing one and two row okay i'm using in place true which will do the operation only and my data frame would be updated directly right if you're in the program so row one and two right this would be deleted okay if you're in the program only zero row is printed one and two is removed okay so this is how we can remove rows and columns so we have seen how we can remove rows and columns from data frame with the help of drop function right that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video